And now, please welcome on stage your conference chairman, Lord Griffiths. Ladies and gentlemen, the robots have come <laughs> to be announced and welcomed in that way. Uh, I think you've already received, as far as I can see, about 35 welcomes already this morning. So what I have to do is really very brief. Uh, I'd just like to say how wonderful it is to be in this beautiful city of St. Gallen, to welcome you here, to welcome people from the city. Uh, and I feel that if St. Gall, that itinerant Irish monk who came from a country with a lot of rain, woke up this morning, he must have felt at home. <laughs> it's wonderful to be here. I'd just like to say, really, in, in welcoming you, two things. The first is, uh, I remember, uh, and as I say I remember, let me say to the aging generation, because I feel you're, you're, I am your representative this morning. There's a great future in aging. Um, 50 years ago, I was a young academic at the London School of Economics and witnessed in those days of May 1968 the student revolution. It was something which was very heartfelt on the part of students because they genuinely felt they had been marginalized in society and society hadn't really offered them a future. And then what happened was you had marches and demonstrations which ended in violence. The London School of Economics itself was closed for f six weeks. So you couldn't actually get into the building, you couldn't go to the library. And if you think of that in a liberal democracy and what it means, it was really something quite extraordinary. And then there were five students in St. Gallen who came from five different countries and some of them are here this morning. And they said, we want to set up a conference, a symposium, in which instead of being destructive, we can be constructive. And hence what we have is this conference which is intergenerational uh, and interdisciplinary and organized entirely by the students. And the second point in welcoming you I'd like to say is that the students have really asked us to focus on four things. The first is an individual response to changing technology. The second is the challenge it makes to our society. The third is the way business will respond but also create disruption through technology Fourthly, the role of government in terms of education policy, job creation, as we've already heard from Botswana. And I think I would add a fifth, which is the challenge to freedom itself and the nature of democracy and the whole debate we are seeing in the Western world at present about uh, the tech giants and what democracy means in this world, I think, uh, is a very important issue. We have outstanding speakers. I would ask you as you take part in the next two days to listen as well as participate. It's a great vision, this conference, and so it's over to you. And with that, I'd like to introduce uh, the federal councillor, uh, Doris Leuthardt, you know, for a British person, when I see Doris Leuthardt coming onto the campus, it's exactly as if Queen Elizabeth, our queen, was entering the building. <laughs> because first of all, she knows everyone. But secondly, she keeps on smiling all the time. <laughs> I think your political opponents must hate that. There's nothing worse to have a successful politician who keeps smiling. <laughs> she has been very successful in politics. She started as a lawyer. She entered the Swiss National Council, the parliament, the elected parliament, 
or part of the elected parliament in 1999. She became uh, the president of the Christian Democratic People's Party in 2004. She was made a federal councillor, part of the cabinet and governance of Switzerland in 2006. She has responsibility for the Department of Environment, Transport, Energy and Communication. And in that, she's been very involved in nuclear power and withdrawing from it, and also with the largest, uh, the longest tunnel in the world, the Gotthard Buzz Tunnel. Um, and twice in 2010 and in 2017, she has been elected as the president of Switzerland, the highest honor that could be given to anyone. So I'd ask you to give a very warm welcome to Doris Leutard. <laughs> 